Hey, it's Ryan with AVL Looms, and we're going to show you on this tutorial that updates with WePoint and how it's compatible with the new CompuDobby 5. So WePoint sent out a new version, it's 8.0.2, and you can check out what version you have here, uh, help about 8.0.2. It's the version you need to have it compatible with the CompuDobby 5. If you don't have it, send us an email, sales at avlusa.com and we'll get you a new, new version. Um, but what this does, it does two things. It lets you send WeavePoint files to the loom, and it also lets you open up WeavePoint files for weaving an AVL drive. So to get started with this, you're gonna need to be connected to your loom. So the way to check this is type in your loom name. Just make sure you can open up AVL drive. Now you will need to be connected either by USB or wirelessly. Um, you can double check your loom name. You're gonna need this to log in. My loom name is Ryan. So you don't have to have your browser open to get started. I'm just showing you what AVL Drive looks like and to show you how it looks to be connected. So go ahead and exit out of that. We're going to open up a file. So let's just say this is a file I'm done weaving on and now I'm done creating and now I want to weave. So I'd go to Loom Control and okay, so let me take a step back. I'll go to Weave and then you go to Options and just make sure you have Copy.B5 selected and then go to Weave Loom Control. Um, you can select if you're a USB, but I'm selected by Wi-Fi. So if you have Wi-Fi, you have to put your loom name in there so it can recognize your computer. This is just your file name that I'm trying to open. And then you're gonna wanna open it. If you wanna open it to Weave, you click this box. If you just wanna send the file to the loom, don't click it, but I wanna Weave on this, so let's click it. And then I'm gonna click replace any existing pattern with the same name. So if this name already exists on my loom, I'm just gonna replace it. This is an updated file. We don't need the old stuff. Okay. Now what does that do? It just sent the file to my loom. It's been uploaded. I'm gonna click okay. And now AVL Drive opens up automatically and I'm ready to weave. So uh, it's pretty cool. Here's my file. Um, you can see now it takes you directly to the weaving tab, but if I look at my files, I can see that this file is now in my loom. So it did its job. Sent the file to the loom, turned it into a WIF file from a WeavePoint file, and got me ready to weave. So that's the update to WeavePoint 8. It's pretty cool. If you have any questions, call us or email sales at avlusa.com.